In this video, we discuss the difference between the von Neumann and Harvard architectures and describe where each is typically used, understand the concept of addressable memory, and look at the stored program concept. So let's start with a von Neumann architecture. This has a shared memory space for instructions and data. Instructions and data are stored in the same format. A single control unit or processor follows a linear fetch decode execute cycle, doing one instruction at a time. Registers are used as fast access to instructions and data. This basic machine architecture was first developed in the 1940s by two early pioneers of computing. Alan Turing and John von Neumann. They called it the stored program concept. Machine code instructions are fetched and executed serially by a processor that performs arithmetic and logical operations. To abide by the stored program concept, a computer must be designed so that a program can be resident in main memory to be executed, and the machine code instructions are fetched from memory one at a time, decoded and executed by the processor. Let's compare this to the Harvard architecture. Here, instructions and data are stored in separate memory units. Each has its own bus. Reading and writing data can be done at the same time as fetching an instruction. This is commonly used by RISC processors. Let's also briefly look at what we collectively call contemporary architectures. So both von Neumann and Harvard are examples of older computer architectures, having originated in the 1940s. More modern machine architectures are known collectively as contemporary architectures. While you're not going to be asked about specific aspects of contemporary architectures unless explicitly named in the specification, you may be asked more open questions about how contemporary architectures differ from a pure von Neumann one. So let's consider SIMD, which stands for Single Instruction Multiple Data. This involves parallel processing. And parallel processing is where a processor carries out a single instruction on multiple data items at the same time. It's often used by graphic processors, GPUs. Another type of architecture is MIMD, standing for multiple instructions, multiple data. So this is another version where multiple instructions are carried out on multiple data items across several processing cores. And we've also got distributed computing. This is where multiple computers on a shared network each take on part of a bigger problem. This can be done on a grand scale over the internet, such as the SETI at Home initiative by NASA. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. Are there other ways to build a processor? <laughs> 